All right. Good morning, guys. Um, so what I'll be doing today is I'm going to go through at least the first one. We'll see how much time it takes to go through the questions which I'm modeling with minimum, maximum, um, and actually forming the equations. So oops, let's just get back aside, let's get our pen going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the steps here. So I'm going to read the question. So as you read the question, a wire is bent into the plane shape ABCD as shown. Shape ABDE is a rectangle and BCD is a semicircle with diameter BD. The area of the region enclosed by the wire is R meters squared. So that's the first thing we can do is we'd actually highlight this here is R meters squared. So we know we're going to need a formula for area. It also tells me A to E is X meters. So that's X meters. And A to B, this length here, is Y meters. The total length of the wire, the total length of the wire going around this shape is 2 meters. So that's your other point. Your other point, so you will need a formula for area, and we'll have a formula for perimeter. Okay, so before I do anything here, what I notice is the fact that if this is X, I'm going to need area of a semicircle. So I'm going to need a radius. Okay, so if X is this length, which is our diameter, that means my radius here is going to be X on two. Okay, so I'll pop that down so I have that dimension when I start doing my next steps. Now, it um, doesn't matter which one you do, but we need both formulas. And it does say find an expression for Y in terms of X. That is actually what we need to be able to substitute in. So first off, Let's do our area. So you have an area of a rectangle. So we have the area of the full shape is just going to be the area of a rectangle, which is just x times y. And we have an area of a semicircle plus. So it's a semicircle. So it's going to be half pi r squared. Now, that's going to be half pi times r, which is x on 2 squared. Okay, so that's our formula for area. And it says where it's actually going to be R. So R is equal to XY plus, I'm going to expand this. This is going to be X squared on 2 squared, which is 4. So it's going to be 4 times 2. So we're going to have pi X squared on 8. That's our formula for area. Now, the next part is that we also need a formula for a perimeter, for the length of the wire going around the outside. So the other part we need is we need a one for perimeter. So perimeter is, is going to be, and if we can do it, it's going to be two wires. So these two here. So we're going to have two Y plus, we've got X here, X, okay, plus. And if you notice, this is half of a circle. So we've got half, pi x. Okay, so we now have this. Now it does tell us that the perimeter is 2 meters. So we know that this is equal to 2 k okay, in meters. Now, and we don't have to worry about conversions because that's meters squared and this is meters. So the next thing we need to do is we need, since this has our value and this is an unknown, since we're going to be, and you can see it in the question as well, we will be maximizing r given this length of wire. So we definitely want to keep R as our formula. So we want to get this formula down the bottom in a way so we've got Y as a subject, so we can substitute it and into the area formula. So that's the first thing we're going to do. So we're just going to move all of our X's to the other side. So we've got 2Y is equal to 2 minus X minus half pi X and divide everything by 2, so we have y is equal to 2, whoops, we have 1 minus x on 2 minus, let's just write this as pi x on 4. Now that actually satisfies that first question, okay, part A. Now, all we can do now, we want, we have our value here for y, and we have our expression, our equation here for 
are, we can actually substitute this into our expression up the top. I'm going to do it over here. So therefore, substituting our perimeter, our y equals uh, given from the perimeter into our area formula, then we can get an expression with only has, which is um, in reference to x. So x is our only variable. So we've got r is equal to x times this expression in the bottom, 1 take x on 2, take pi x on 4, okay, don't forget the rest of it, plus pi x squared on 8. Now, if you notice, you can actually factorize this x out and put it inside this bracket, so therefore we've got x bracket 1 minus x on 2 minus pi x x on 4 plus pi x on 8 and you'll notice that you can simplify these down here okay so this is half of this so if you have a look you can actually do it this way this is the same as x is that so therefore we've got x bracket 1 take x on 2 take pi x on 8 and last but not least, and you can see it, we're going to factorize out this 8. So we've got x on 8. So therefore, we need times everything in, inside by 8. We have 8 minus that time. So 8 on 2 is 4. 4x. Four 8 on 8 is 1 minus pi x. And that is it there. We have an expression for r with respect to x, which actually is exactly the equation we have been given in B. Now, now that we've done that, last step, given that X can vary, so I'm just going to go on the next slide. So given that X can vary using calculus and showing your working, so we have to do all of our working and we're going to use calculus for this. So we're going to use differentiation, find the maximum value of R. So we don't need to prove that it's a maximum, so we don't have to do a double differential, but we do need to find the maximum value. So the fact is, if we're looking for a maximum or a minimum, we are looking for a stationary point. Okay, so we're looking for a stationary point. So therefore, we want to find when dr on dx is equal to zero. So we're, I'm going to expand this. So I have it as a simple function. Each one's going to be their own function. So we can say r is equal to. So I'm going to expand it again. So we got, it would be, I'm going to write the whole thing out so you can see the working. 8x on 8 minus 4x squared on 8 minus pi x squared on 8. Now, um, these cancel, this becomes 2. Okay, so just to help so you can see it. All right, now we're at this step. Okay, we're just going to differentiate with respect to x. So dr on dx is equal to, so this comes, that's going to be, a, and that's going to reduce to zero. So that's one minus two goes to the front. So it's two over two, which is one X. And then two goes to the front. So you got two over eight, which is going to be one over four. So we'll have minus pi X on four. Okay. Now that's it there. We want to find when this is equal to zero. So we want to find our stationary points. So all we do at this stage is we're going to do a bit of rearranging. We're going to factorize out our x. So we're going to move our x's to the other side. Okay, we're going to factorize this out. So you got 1 is equal to x bracket 1. Oops, 1 plus pi on 4. Therefore, x is equal to 1 on 1 plus pi on 4. Don't like a fraction of a fraction. So let's just times it all by 4. So we've got 4 on 4 plus pi. Now, we've found the value of x where it's stationary. Okay, We don't need to prove it's a maximum. So all we need to do now 
is we need um so we don't need to do a double differential we just need to pop this into our original formula so we can find out the value of r now this is where it gets a little bit interesting because we can do it with respect to pi and it is going to be a little bit of manipulation but let's see what happens so we have r is equal to so we're going to have 4 on 4 plus pi on 8 then it's going to be 8 minus 4 times 4 on 4 plus pi okay then we've got uh, minus pi times 4 on 4 plus pi all right so a little bit of expansion now there's a couple of things we can do here so if i just change our color of our pen all right so if you have a look this here is going to cancel leaving us with two on the bottom okay now that's going to go to the bottom in a second but there's something else you can do look we can actually expand this so two becomes one that becomes a four that becomes a two and this becomes a two if i divide everything so i'm just getting rid of our functions at the start so i've got from here i don't know i'm not using black pen i'm sorry here's a black pen now so we've got that's equal to it's going to be one over four plus pi okay because i got rid of this denominator but, but this still is a fraction so it goes on the bottom we've got four now i have to do something with this in a second i'll show you some leave some space minus this is going to be eight over four plus pi minus this is going to be two pi on four plus pi now to be able to add all these together you need to make the denominators the same okay so therefore we get and as you notice it's going to be this times one of these so i can actually just do that already it's going to be four plus pi squared on the bottom because it's one of those there times itself and on the top you've got this minus this minus this let's expand this out so we'll have 16 plus 4 pi minus 8 minus 2 pi which is equal to it's going to be 16 minus 8 is 8 4 pi minus 2 pi is 2 pi plus 2 pi on 4 plus pi squared which is equal to hopefully you can see what's going to happen here if i factorize out two on the top i'm going to be left with two bracket four plus pi divided by four plus pi squared therefore these cancel here and your answer is two on four plus pi okay so that is the full solution for this 12 mark answer okay so big steps here remember you get what you're given at the start and go back to the previous slide when you get this at the start you've got an area in the question you have an area in the question and you have a total wire length so you have a perimeter so they're the two formulas you have to start with okay area and perimeter so express them as an equation once you've got that, some most of these questions will give you the actual um, equation you want. But what we want is we want to maximize the R, the area, and we want it with respect to X. So we want to get rid of this variable here. So therefore, you want to rearrange your perimeter so that you get that Y value as the subject, and then you can substitute in. Okay, I hope this is helpful. I'll be recording another one soon. See you soon.